This is a car channel. We should have car fun. If you've been hanging around race tracks long enough, you know how to sneak into the places that they don't want you to go. Oh, what's up, people? I have gone rogue because I am not in the shop. I'm on the Arabian Peninsula, yes, a long way away from home. Uh, Saudi Arabia is there. Uh, Iran is right over the water there, and we are in Dubai, which actually is a beautiful city. This is a car channel. We should have car fun. Uh, so I hear there's a vintage Formula One race right over there in Group C. Yes! Uh, so, uh, and they said that you should dress in period. So the one thing I had was a shirt. I got a henchman shirt on from Indy. Uh, got to represent. And, uh, but intelligently, I decided to wear a black t-shirt. Uh, yes, to the heart of the Arab world, uh, because the sun here <laughs> is really hot, and that was a good choice. But anyway, I, I got a white jacket, but I thought that looked too Miami Vice, so whatever, vintage race cars, let's go! You know, just in coming here initially, I gotta tell you, I'm really glad that I did. Uh, forgetting about all the car stuff and all the fun happening like that, I just think this is potentially a really nice place to travel to. Traffic's a little bit like LA, uh, but everything honestly just is super relaxed and clean and calm and obviously a lot of different cultures here but everybody is just super chill and doing their thing um, grocery stores are great you can get everything you need within reach um, everybody's speaking English so I guess for any Americans um, if you guys are respectful and want a cool place to go and see a lot of culture uh, Dubai's kind of awesome right now um, the car scene's good but I don't even know if I'd really want to have my exotic cars here because the traffic's like LA um, but, um, I don't know, there's probably some cool places to rip around the desert, which I'll be doing here shortly because you guys probably guessed the big reason I came here. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, part of that is to make Donut Media eat it. <laughs> right? Anyway, no, so I'm uh, going to hang out with Debbie Motors for a few days. And actually, I'm looking forward to going to the Autodrome now for this uh, Vintage F1 re race in Group C because... I'm gonna be driving the Fenrir there on Tuesday night, apparently. They said they're gonna have the track for me. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna be the first guy to uh, do that on YouTube uh, with a bunch of other good stuff coming up. So just looking forward to the journey and hanging out and seeing who's around. It'd be funny if I bump into anybody I know at uh, the F1 race here, but let's just look around. Hope you guys can experience. <laughs>
starting to get kicked out. <laughs> Crap. All right. So now we have to find an intelligent place to watch from. I have a secondary idea. Okay, so the nice thing about this is if you've been hanging around race tracks long enough, you know how to sneak it into places that they don't want you to go, but are better than whatever. Plus, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Scouting lab came up here in the, uh, we call these things, trans pants. <laughs> you should see better right here. So they're coming around. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna do a rolling start or a standing start. Either way, I'm gonna get it for you. That's about it for me today. I wanted to just bring you along to this uh, cool vintage Grand Prix with obviously Formula One cars and Group C in Dubai. Uh, but it gives me a new appreciation for the town, for the United Arab Emirates, which are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. So there's a lot of great things going on. The World's Fair uh, was supposed to be here, I assume, last year in 2020, but with the pandemic, it's this year, 2021. So I'm really excited to see that as well. And you guys have probably guessed I'm here to spend some time with W Motors and maybe, just maybe, I'll be coming back to the Autodrome with W Motors on one of the days I'm with them, hint, hint. But uh, beyond that, um, you know, being here in Dubai, this also helps rekindle my love for vintage racing and getting going. I'm just gonna go after what I love in the future, you guys. I love historic motorsports, I wanna build some more things. Uh, recently got that uh, Mike Hillwood replica Ducati and the 750 GT in parts. And I think with the 750, I'm going to build my dream race bike, a 750 Amola. Uh, and I think I'm going to go after trying to find a Formula B. So I look forward to that and just bring you guys more cool cultural stuff. But uh, just having an awesome time here in UAE, guys. I mean, I really enjoy seeing a taste of different cultures because they're all kind of coming together here in the Arab Emirates. Um, being in a different part of the world, but you know, everybody, it's really easy to get around. Everybody speaks English, which is good for me being American. And um, it's just super chill and nice. I mean, honestly, I shoot, I think one day if I have a family, I'd bring them here just for fun so they can experience different things and have a good time. And I gotta say this, you guys, so back in America, so people are like, you're going to Dubai, what? 
I don't understand. Is that where they just walk around and like diamonds and gold falls out of their pockets? Oh, I better get out of the way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe, but not in general. Uh, let me give you an example. So it costs $1,000 round trip to fly from Detroit to Boston to Arab Emirates from Boston to Dubai and back a person. So $1,000 a person for air travel. The cool like apartment flat we're staying at that overlooks the marina is like $130 a night. And um, I don't know, you know, otherwise it's not that expensive. It's just kind of normal. The tickets for the Grand Prix today ended up being like, I don't know, 35 American dollars. So guys, um, if you want to do something cool, maybe think about going to the UAE. So I guess that's all I got. Uh, you should hit the bell and subscribe because more cool things are coming. And I'll be back in the shop and work on the King Zero. I swear it's coming. Just be patient. It's kind of dusty here. <laughs> um, this place gives new meaning to the term like California car dust. <laughs> so you better really like the finish of your cars paint too much because it's like this. Mm. That's my impression of car care. <laughs> it's super high. Since 2013, the Genius Garage educational programs have been responsible for launching the careers of young engineers, mechanics, and fabricators. So this holiday season, consider checking out Genius Garage and its website, geniusgarageracing.com, and making a donation. Whether it's small or large, what we do together is how we shape a better future for everyone. Thanks for watching.